It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Some of you would have seen the B&M Express stores unboxing kind of what you can get for £10 video I did recently. Well, in that deal was, or the reason why I went in in the first place was I was walking past B&M Express. B&M Express, B&M stores is like a giant discount store, like Pound Stretcher or whatever you have if you're watching around the world you get these giant kind of discount stores don't you well in our discount stores they have a food version called B&M Express where they sell lots of frozen food lots of kind of chocolate sweets that sort of thing anyway I was walking past there and they had a deal in the window £2.50 for flaming Hot Thigh Burgers now one of you pointed out that I thought you said you didn't like thigh I don't, technically, but if it's wrapped in batter, I can tend to just about get away with it. Um, so that's that bit of it. Uh, this goes in the oven for 40 minutes, by the way. So it's quite a long process to cook. I think 40 minutes for a burger, it's a long time, isn't it? The air fryer might take 10 minutes off it, so we'll stick them in in a moment. Here are the Cajun fries that come with a deal as well, £2.50 and eight bread rolls. So let's start off with grabbing all of these Cajun burgers. And having a look at them. Oh, they're quite, they're quite the size, isn't they? Actually, it's all like, right, there's one. I think they're all similar. They're, they're big. They're big, kind of. Big, spicy. Smell nice and. Oh, lovely. Hot and spicy sauce on them. Oh, lovely. Okay, so. Maybe they will. Would the. I mean, there's a big bit of girth on there, isn't there? That, that might take 40 minutes in a conventional oven. But probably 30. In the air fryer. So that goes in there. Whack that, whack that round for 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do now, after 10 minutes, I'm going to get these Cajun fries in, and then mix them all up, get them in, job done, serve it in one of these bread rolls, and we'll give it a quick review. Right, quick handheld. There it is. Right, let's take this to the bar. Okay, so the burger, or the chicken I should say, it's got a little bit of a char grill look to it. Now, if something says 40 minutes on a packet and I give it 30 minutes, even if it's looking slightly char grilled, I think 30 minutes was the minimum. Whether it's you just want to make sure things are cooked, don't you? You don't want to take that chance. If I went 20 minutes, because it looked done after 20 minutes. If I went 20 minutes, that's half the cooking time. I don't know. Was it worth the risk? Let's find out. So let's rip this. So there's the thigh meat. Break it open a bit further. There it is there. Now, I'm much more of a breast man, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I, um, not much of wing, not much of thigh that I like, but let's give it a go, let's give it a go. Let's be brave, let's try new things. Definitely a different texture. 
to breast meat. You shouldn't really worry about it. I mean, if you, if you think about in terms of me drinking beer, I always say, never drink with your eyes. And here's me eating with my eyes. I should just close my eyes and get on with it. Right, the main reason why I'm here is to talk about the spice. They're called hot and spicy. And wow, wow, there's a right spicy kick to this burger. A real spicy kick. Does have that kind of brown meat taste. That I'm not a massive fan of. It's... Do you know when you strip a chicken... And you get that smell when you're chicken. So I always cut the breast off. We have chicken dinner, cut the breast off. Put it on everyone's plate, everyone enjoys it. And then we feed the underneath of the chicken, all the thigh meat, all the, the, the wings and everything. We put it on a plate, we feed it to the dog. Do you know when you're stripping the, the meat off the bones? You get that kind of, as soon as you get close to the bone, it's that, it's that kind of, how can I explain it? A certain smell it's very organic it's like whoa you know you're into the depths you're ripping muscle off a bone and, it, and it, you can smell it and getting that in the taste that's what puts me off it's the look and the taste that puts me off look if you like thigh burgers if you like chicken thigh you are going to love this the amount of There's a look at it. The amount of spice on this burger is terrific. Absolutely terrific. But on a personal level, I struggle, I'll always struggle. But in terms of spice, wonderful. It's definitely exactly what it says on a tin. It's a hot and spicy thigh burger. And for that, I like it enough to give it an eight out of 10. Would I eat another one? Probably not. What am I gonna do with the rest? Hopefully the kids eat them. If the kids don't eat them, I'll give them to my brother-in-law. Cajun fries then. These are the Cajun fries that were part of the bag as well. Look lovely. Look lovely, taste lovely. Remarkably, these Cajun fries were cooked in like 12 minutes. A lovely, not overly spicy, but a nice Cajun spice to them. Mmm. Again, these are very good. Value for money. You're feeding the family here for £2.50. That's the point. You're feeding the family for £2.50. Does it work? Yeah. Eight bread rolls, big bag of chips. There was probably about six thigh burgers in there. The question is, if you're looking to buy this for your family, or just for yourself, we've got to ask that question. Do you like the thigh meat? Do you like wing? Do you like thigh? If like me, there's maybe two or three of, of your family that don't, don't bother. If you can all eat it and enjoy it and have it for what it is. 
you got yourself a bargain. The Cajun fries, these are tremendous. Fluffy white potato, lovely Cajun sauce on them. I'm gonna rate the fries. The fries are lovely. They're a nine out of 10, nine out of 10. So make of this review what you will. It was a case of me walking past the B&M Express, seeing that they had something on offer. I took a gamble on the thigh meat. Unfortunately, I didn't like it personally, but if it's for you, go and get them in the B&M Express. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily B&M food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.